Today is part two of my top ICOs for January. We already did Apex and Nucleus Vision, but I believe these two could be just as big, if not bigger. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Altcoin Picks. First, before we get started, I want to kind of explain the name change. It's fairly simple. Basically, crypto is too saturated in the YouTube scene, and I just felt like I was blending into the millions of keywords being used every day. Also, my channel is more centered around altcoins, so I thought it was fitting to get out of that saturated market and rename my channel to what I love to talk about. Therefore, became the inception altcoin picks. I hope you guys like it. I would love some feedback on this one. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And I also wanted to talk to you about one more thing. We just created a Facebook group. And as you can see the link up here, we have over 200 members already. We have decided to make sure we kind of limit the amount of people that can be in this group, or at least once we hit an X amount, whether it be a thousand, 2000, 5,000, we will make it harder to jump in because we want to make sure the qu the content is quality. That is our number one priority is to make sure the group doesn't turn into this random spam fest. Come and join. I would love to have you guys. The link will be in the description below and in the comment section. So my first ICO is Tradeov. Hopefully I said that right. Tradeov was founded on the mission to address the basic need of each company to better buy and sell by creating a business social network that connects corporate buyers, sellers, products, services, and companies. They want to allow any company to market and advertise to another company over the internet, their products and services in a targeted and precise way. Basically, it's like the Facebook and LinkedIn of businesses. So let's first talk about their team. This is one of the better teams that I found, so I'm just going to mention their superstars. First, we have Matt, who is the director of sales at UPS. Then we have Jing, who was the director of engineering at Alibaba and senior engineering manager at Yahoo. We have Igor, who has over 20 years of experience with some big companies. Move to the next line. George was a senior IT architect at Amazon and lead system admin at Salesforce. Jai was an engineer at Facebook. And then Albert was the lead UX designer at LinkedIn. Next, I want to talk about their advisors. This is honestly probably the best advising team I've ever seen on any project. So let's just talk about their big four that I think are ridiculous. First, you got Richard Rosenberg, was a former chairman and CEO of Bank of America. Phil Duff, former CFO of Morgan Stanley. We got Jerhad, was a former CEO of Simons. And then Gary Couger was a former group VP of General Motors. And they also have Mike Honda, who was a former US congressman who served on the US House Budget Committee. I mean, just one of these guys on a project would have been a super duper star. And they got four, five? Like, this is ridiculous. So much connections. That's awesome. So now what about their hard cap? We're looking at 1 billion total coins, 500 million circulating supply, which is for the ICO. The hard cap is 52 million. This is kind of high in my opinion. But they do have some bonuses. Also, their token price is 16 cents and then 12 cents for pre-sale. So their bonuses are January 10th to the 20th, you get a 20% bonus. From the 20th to the 31st, you get a 10% bonus. And if you're able to contribute $48,000 or more, you get a 30% bonus, which if you're able to get there, it's about 35 million market cap. And that's pretty much what we expect from extreme, like really good projects. So what do I like about Tradeov? They are a, a fairly successful company already. They have 250 corporate users running on the platform with over 100,000 companies. They have 200 plus Fortune 1000 companies and they've been around for five years. They have an awesome team and possibly one of the best advisory teams we've seen. And they actually have a fairly unique and solid idea that I think could actually go far if they're able to be successful. My next ICO is B Token. So, what is B Token? BNES is a home sharing platform from hosts to list their homes and for guests to find accommodations. BNS rewards users with their network incentives, commission-free transactions, and security unrivaled in the home sharing industry. The BNS network has three essential systems. They have a secure payment system that allows two authenticated peer-to-peer -peer entities to send and receive money that gets in B token until after a successful exchange of services between the two entities. 
They also have a decentralized arbitration system that resolves user disputes, providing a positive incentive to grow a network of genuine arbiters and a negative incentive to deter scammers. And then finally have a reputation system that couples a valid identity, which is obtained by a trusted digital fingerprint protocol on the blockchain with a rating determined by transparent immutable reviews and scoring interchange between peer to peer entities such as guest and host. So I know that was a lot, but this company seems to be doing a lot. <laughs> so now to check out their team. So CEO John Chow was an engineer at Uber. Then we have founder Tony Tran was also a software engineer at Uber. So both of these Uber experiences, they wouldn't make them a superstar or maybe not even a star, but it's some significant experience at least. Then we got Jordan Ong. He got his superstar or he would have been a superstar because he was a project manager at Facebook for seven years and he also worked at Google. We have Ali was a software engineer at Amazon and Google and Ford Motor Company. Then we have Min Kim, which I think I've seen her before. Uh, she was the yeah chief of staff up at Civic. And we have a bunch of others from companies such as Uber, Google, Namico Entertainment. So they definitely have a great team with many superstars, which again, as I mentioned before, is awesome to see and something we look for in any ICO. Next, we have some notable advisors, Richard Ma, which I'm sure a lot of you know. He's the co-founder and CEO of QuantStamp. We have Kisigun, I think that's his name. He's the co-founder of Nigma. We have Kevin was also an advisor to Enigma and former head of trading at Kraken, which I'm sure a lot of you use that exchange. I believe this person's name is Yisel. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. So he was also an advisor to Icon, Waves, Nucleus Vision, and Metablock. So they definitely have a great advisor cast that has some very blockchain heavy experience, which is always great to see. Now, what about their market cap? Their total supply is 500 million tokens. Circulating supply will be 150 million. The hard cap is super low, only 15 million. Now, this is a number I love and gets me excited to hopefully jump in. And we're looking at, I believe, about 10 cents per coin. So why do I love Btoken? They have a great team, a working product, experienced blockchain advisors, great to see. Super low hard cap, which is, in my opinion, the best feature. I love that in any project. And then a very hyped ICO, which usually translates to some huge return on investment if you're able to get into the ICO. Altogether, awesome project. I'm excited about both of them. That's my part two of top ICOs for January. Let me know what you think. Do you plan on getting on any of these ICOs? I know a lot of you are excited about both Trade Dove and Btoken. If you're able to get into one, which one are you thinking? Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Again, check my Facebook group out. I would love to have all of you and I'll see you next time.